Ilicic is a proper hitter. I don't, I, I don't know, seriously. And I think that whenever uh, he sees someone successful, he always wants to go at them. Maybe because deep down he's hurt and upset and envies these people because he didn't do half of what Pani Joshua did or half of what I did. Because in the day, look, say what you want. I mean, uh, he loves talking about the chin and doing this and doing that. I mean, look, bro, bank, my, my, my bank balance don't lie, you know what I'm saying? If I made fucking big, big money, a lot more than I can triple what you made in his career. No, I'm not, I'm not serious, no. That's what burns him. And that's why he can't take it. It's the honest truth. So, so forget about skill or whatever. Or forget about, look, okay, finally, if you want to talk about skill and where you fought, I fought in Vegas, top the bill there, work with Golden Boy was one of the top fighters. Same with Matchroom work with, Matchroom work with, Frank Warren. I mean, top my own bills, had my own TV deals with HBO, Showtime, ITV, Sky. I mean, the list can go on. Like I said, I've been there, I've done it all. So it really, uh, I, he should be the last person talking shit about me, you know what I mean? With me, I want peace in life, you know what I'm saying? So wish Carl all the very best. Look, he's a great fighter though. Look, I'm not gonna lie. I was watching some of his highlights and he is a good fighter, I mean, the heart he had, the way he would just go to war. Is you know credit to Carl. Carl, respect. I'm your friend. I'm cool with you. No drama. And those are the words of Amir Khan. As you guys heard, he feels that Carl Frotch is a proper hater. <clears throat> Based on what Amir Khan said, Amir Khan, first of all, you have to know where everything is spawned from. Carl Frotch has mentioned recently and in the past that Amir Khan has no chin. This is the uh, reason, okay? This is the energy behind the response, the statement of Amir Khan. Now, wh what he had to say, was it true? Um, I think a lot of um, uh, Carl Frotch's hangups is accomplishments. I think when he compares himself to other people, especially if those people have surpassed him, made more money than him, defeated him, he feels some type of way. Um, I just think that's what it is. I mean, it's just, you know, the writing's on the wall. The proof is out there. You know, Andre Ward, oh, I'll never bring him to my show. And I'm like, okay, why wouldn't you bring Andre Ward to your show, a guy that's a golden Olympian, a guy that is... Uh, undefeated in, as a pro, a guy that beat you in the ring on your own grounds, you know what I'm saying? So why wouldn't you want him there and you call him boring? That's your response to him. That's the only thing that you have to say for him, to him, about him rather. It, it, it just makes you think like, okay, that's, I think his legacy, but I think also money. I think he cringes on that because uh, I, do, I, I, look, I agree with Amir Khan. Um, Carl Frotch knows he's done a lot or enough in boxing to be a name because he had a great name. He had good fights. He, he did fight with heart and um, he showed you that he wasn't a scary fighter. He gave you everything he had, win, lose or draw. And he didn't, he didn't lose much. I think he had only two losses. So no, look, Carl Frotch has done what Carl Frotch has done, but I think he has an issue with um, competition. You know, especially when you've retired and there's no more that you can do because it's been done. You that's your cap is your retirement age. You're not unless you decide to come back into retirement or come back into fighting out of retirement. Uh, you know, he's just going to be left with someone's accomplishments versus his own. And I think the money was there for a lot of fighters, i.e. Amir Khan, i.e. Anthony Joshua and company. But I think he has a problem with that. I, I really do. But then again, people, you have to understand why Amir Khan said what he said. See, it's easy to bring someone else into an issue that you have with another person, especially if that other person has an issue with the person you're talking about, which in this case is Carl Frotch, right? So it's easy to bring up AJ's name, but he wasn't talking about AJ. He was talking about Amir Khan. That's why Amir Khan should have done that. You know what I mean? He just added more uh, reason and or, 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 or examples of why you know Carl has problems with people, just like I gave you. The only thing is I have no reason to talk about Carl Frotch. Carl Frotch is Carl Frotch. It, Carl Frotch is a guy, the reason why his podcast is doing what it's doing is simply because he 
he, he calls it how he sees it. You know, he speaks whatever's on his mind. Let's put it that way. He's he reminds me of a Shell Sonnen. I think Shell Shell Sonnen is a lot more articulate and you know, not saying Carl Froch is a dummy. He's just not as vocal as someone like Shell Sonnen. You know what I mean? But Shell is, you know, also the a very successful podcaster, you know, because of his personality. You know, whereas Carl Froch, Carl Froch is a guy that does his own thing. And uh, I think he's a drier than someone like that. But nonetheless, he's doing well. You know what I mean? And he does say certain things that rub people the wrong way, like Amir Khan. You know, it's a hundred people. Hell, I said that about Amir. He doesn't have a chin, which he really doesn't. He's chinny. Let's just face it. He gets hit and he goes all the pieces. It almost feels that boxing was never for him. You know what I mean? Never for him at all. So, you know, um, but... That being said, um, this is Carl Froch, I mean, Con, Amir Khan's response to Carl Froch. You guys tell me what you think of Amir Khan stating that he has triple the money. He was more successful. And that's why he's talking about him. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been Counterpunch. Peace.